I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 odd situations that did not go as expected. I got nothing for this one. Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> there you go. Twenty-five. In 2009, police in Ireland went on a massive manhunt for Prawo Jazdi because he had numerous driving infractions and apparently every time he was caught, he had given police a different address. Eventually, someone realized that Prawo Jazdi means driver's license in Polish. Hmm. 24. In 1975, when Pink Floyd was recording a song about their former bandmate's psychological decline, Sid Barrett, their former bandmate, walked into the studio after a seven-year absence. 23. A man in China sued his wife for giving birth to ugly children. It was soon discovered that she had over 100,000 US dollars worth of plastic surgery prior to getting married. 22. When Jerry Lee, the killer Lewis, arrived in London, he was one of the most popular singers on earth. He had an entire European tour booked. But when he showed up with a 13-year-old bride named Myra Gale Lewis, who was also his cousin, his tour was canceled and his career took a beating that he would never fully recover from. 21. In 1981, President Reagan accused the Russians of using chemical warfare against farmers in Laos. Apparently, yellow drops were falling from the sky and killing crops. The US ramped up production of chemical weapons in reply, but the drops eventually turned out to be something very natural. Bee poop. 20. In 1969, an Italian man was arrested on account of the cheese he was selling. Having been reported by customers, analysis of his cheese revealed that it contained grated umbrella handles. 19. SRA stands for Satanic Ritual Abuse, and this was a very big deal during the 1980s. After the publication of Michelle Remembers, a memoir detailing child abuse by members of a satanic cult, people everywhere started remembering similar details. It wasn't until the 2000s that SRA was discredited as false memories due to coerced interrogation techniques. 18. In 2010, scientists looked over 43 research papers analyzing smoking and its effects. They found that 11 of them significantly downplayed the risk smoking poses, not surprisingly, the researchers in those 11 papers turned out to have had connections with the tobacco industry. 17. In 2012, some Bulgarian farmers captured some thieves they found in their field. The thieves turned out to be French commandos doing some training. 16. In 1961, three people died in a British retirement home when they saw the Grim Reaper at the window. It turned out to be another retiree wearing a mask. 15. When Los Angeles suffered a series of arson attacks in the 80s, an intense investigation didn't turn up any leads. Eventually, however, it became clear as to why. The arsonist turned out to be the lead investigator, the fire captain John Leonard Orr. 14. When officials in Tokyo wanted to congratulate the oldest man in the city for his 111th birthday, Sogen Kato, they instead found his 30-year-old skeleton. Apparently, his family was still getting money from his pension. 13. When a film crew went to a Los Angeles haunted house in 1976, they filmed a hanging mannequin, except it wasn't a mannequin. It turned out to be a dead body that had been circulated among haunted houses for the past 60 years. Actually, it was the body of Elmer McCurdy, a train robber who was killed in a police shootout in 1911. 12. In 1983, a man confessed to killing his wife when a body was discovered outside his house. It eventually turned out to be an ancient mummified body, the Lindau woman, but Peter Rain Bart was convicted on the account of his testimony. 11. When dozens of Palestinian girls started fainting all of a sudden in 1983, accusations of chemical warfare were all over the headlines. It eventually turned out that the faintings were the result of mass hysteria. Today, it's known as the 1983 West Bank fainting epidemic. 10. During World War I, Henry Tandy, a British soldier, stumbled across a wounded German soldier and chose not to kill him. That wounded soldier turned out to be Adolf Hitler. 9. When Cheryl Bradshaw appeared on The Dating Game, she chose to go on a date with Rodney Alcala. Afterward, she changed her mind when she said that he started to act creepy. Years later, it turned out that Rodney was a serial killer who was in the middle of a vicious killing spree. 
8. After Fiji Water ran an ad in 2006 that said, it's called Fiji because it's not bottled in Cleveland, the city of Cleveland took offense and ran some tests. It turns out that Cleveland's tap water is cleaner than Fiji's bottled water. 7. Alicia Esteve Head is a Spanish woman who claimed to have been on the 78th floor of the South Tower when it was hit. She even became the president of the World Trade Center Survivor Network. It was eventually revealed that she was studying in Barcelona when the attacks happened. 6. In 1964, Donald Russ Curry, a graduate student at UNC, cut down a tree in the mountains of Nevada to study it. It was only revealed later that he had accidentally cut down the oldest living organism on Earth, a tree known as Prometheus that was more than 5,000 years old. Way to go, Donald. Way to go. 5. In 1900, a bear was donated to the city of Toledo, Ohio. The city decided to start a zoo. It was only later that the bear was determined to in fact be a woodchuck. 4. In 1980, the Swedish Navy detected underwater sounds off its coast that it thought were coming from the Russian Navy. Tensions escalated between the two countries until a researcher discovered that the sounds were actually fish farts. 3. People in the Chinese city of Yi Wu were astounded by a local couple that managed to run a diner for nearly 24 hours a day all by themselves. Eventually, it turned out that the diner was run by two pairs of twins that had married each other. 2. The moon rock that was given to the Prime Minister of the Netherlands in 1969 turned out to be nothing more than petrified wood. It's still on display as a curiosity, though. 1. In 1897, when Frank Hahn was looking for a freshwater lake in Australia, he followed several freshwater rivers to their end, where he found a saltwater lake. Perhaps not surprisingly, he named it Lake Disappointment. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.